App Inventor is an open source platform that allows you to create Android apps using a drag and drop interface. We've already learned how to create a simple app and test it on our Android device. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create an app that can connect to a Bluetooth device. You'll need a Windows computer, Mac, or Raspberry Pi, and an Android phone or tablet. You'll also need a Bluetooth device to connect to. I'm going to connect to the HC06 Bluetooth module that I connected to the Arduino in Turbo Tinker 20. I'm remoting into my Raspberry Pi, though you can use a Mac or a PC for this. Open up the App Inventor website. You'll need to sign in with a Google account, so create one if you don't have one. Click Start New Project. No spaces or dashes are allowed. Click to open your project. To get started, we'll drag a Bluetooth client from connectivity. We'll use a list picker to display a list of available Bluetooth devices. Do you see how it's stuck to the left side? We'll center it by putting it in a horizontal arrangement container. Set to Fill Parent so they cover the width of the device. Change the text to Connect. Drag another horizontal arrangement and place a label in it. This will display the status of the connection. Center it, increase the font size, change the text to Disconnected. Drag a clock component to the canvas. We'll need this to periodically check our Bluetooth connection. Click on Blocks to go into Blocks view. Notice the names of our list picker and status box. Not too descriptive. Click back on Designer and we'll change the names by selecting them in the Components pane and clicking Rename. We'll name them Bluetooth List and Status. The Bluetooth List before picking block is an event that we'll use to populate the box with Bluetooth devices in range at just the right time. The Bluetooth List after picking will trigger after you've selected a device. We use an if then, and if an item was selected, then check for a connection. If so, send the word connected to the Bluetooth server and make Bluetooth list invisible. Next, we'll work on our clock block. It will trigger at a set duration. It defaults to one second. So every second, we're going to check the status of the connection. We'll use an if then block, and if the Bluetooth client is connected, then we'll set the status text to OK, else we'll set it to disconnected. We'll also set the text on the screen to connect. Let's connect to the Android to test it. I'll type in the QR code, connect to the device, and we've connected. That's good, but what if we now want to disconnect? Let's go back and add another button, call it disconnect, and hide it initially. Go back into blocks view and drag a when disconnect click do block. We're going to set the Bluetooth list to visible and disconnect button to invisible, and we're going to disconnect the Bluetooth connection. We'll set the button to visible after we connect. Now let's run it again. It's working more like you would expect it to. In this video, we connected our Android app to an HC06 Bluetooth module using App Inventor, and then we used the AI Companion app to test it on our device. This was a lot, so if you want to see some detailed written instructions, click the link in the description, and don't forget to subscribe.